Uh, this is going back to 1945 when we had just moved in to a house on Woodbridge Avenue. We were there about a week and uh, I came home from the service, Irving came home from the service, uh, Al came home from the service, they had no place to go. We were going on a vacation and they and I, we, my husband and I, David, decided we were going to let them take the house and have fun. Don't believe fun. a word she says. Go, nothing. <laughs> Did you cut that out, Ronnie? <laughs> Ronnie? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> well, the house, uh, as I said, we just moved in had no drapes on the windows, the furniture was sparse, but we went away. We had a good time. I'm sure that they did. I was not married at the time. The other two couple, oh, Irving too. Irving, Irving had come home. So the married couple stayed and, and had a real good time. The single couples, uh, Rishi uh, came to the house and she stayed, I think he stayed upstairs, she stayed downstairs. That's the story I got. How true, I don't know. Anyway, uh, after that, um, they were courting and decided they were going to get married. Well, they dragged on until about November, the end she of November. keep talking. Well, talking, November, talking. they were married the 23rd or 4th. Cut her off. And they, uh, they decided they were going to get married. But they had to go to Erie, PA. Oh, I, yeah. I don't I know why. It was a miserable. I wish they were here because they could verify it. It was a miserable day. It was snowing. Well, when everybody gets married, it's a miserable day. <laughs> now well, I'm telling you, this is, the, this is the day they got married. We drove them to Erie, Pennsylvania, where they had arranged with a rabbi to get married. Now, I don't know. I don't know. It was legal. I, I really don't know how we got there safe because the roads were icy and slippery and, and by the time we got there it was late, at, late in the evening, Saturday night. But finally they got married and it was a very happy, happy, happy ending. And uh, they should be happy for the rest of their lives. And uh, that's... We should too. And that's... Uh, cut that out. <laughs> Ronnie? Ronnie, cut that out. I remember when I was in Cleveland and had the Tom McCann store there.